Hi, I'm Theo. Hi, I'm Riyadh. Hi, I'm Meredith. Hi, I'm Susanna. And today we're talking about coming out. So coming out is a process that a lot of LGBTQ plus people have to go through, and it can be a really scary process. Being in the closet for me was one of the worst times of my life. Full of anxiety, full of fear, looking over my shoulder, wondering who knows my big, dirty, dark secret, when really it wasn't a big, dirty, dark secret. It was just a tiny little facet of who I am. Coming out of the closet is a process where you can have one foot out and one foot in, and then you take two feet out and then you jump. Like the first steps that you take coming out sort of build a foundation and like you sort of get muscle memory. And I mean, we do that sort of thing all the time. Like I'm a creative. So yeah. then first I'm like, wait, well, maybe I don't want to say I'm creative. And then, well, I like kind of like art and I like film. And you just sort of gain confidence to be who you are. So you might get a negative reaction the first time and that can affect you badly, but I think you can work through that. The first step to coming out really is being able to tell yourself and having that confidence within who you are. When you're trying to figure out what you are, who you are, your preferences, any of that, put the brakes on and take your time because there's nothing worse for your mind than jumping ahead when you're not ready. It can be scary to say those words, even silently in your own head. So just be okay with talking to yourself. It may sound a bit insane, but just talk to yourself, have a conversation. It takes time for you to get to know yourself. So whenever you're ready to, once you're confident and you're enough in yourself to sort of say who you are, I mean, you've got every right to. I think coming out puts the onus on everyone else, but I think it's mainly about you. And so mm. whether you get the reaction you want or you don't, I mean, you've taken a major step yeah. in saying who you are. Whether it's internalized pressure or whether it's a societal pressure, like you sort of feel this urge, like even once you've figured it out, oh, I need to come out now. And then it's like, there doesn't need to be that mm. pressure. The more compassionate you are to yourself and the longer you give it, um, that's okay and just do it little by little rather than telling everyone at once. You can try um, testing the opinions of the people around you with just having a general conversation. I think the Eurovision is a great thing for that. <laughs> it was a year before I came out to my dad, we were watching the Eurovision at home and I said, he's very handsome, isn't he? <laughs> just throw it out there. <laughs> that just gives you a little spark of hope that the, the, it will be okay. Either you two have experiences like that? Oh, I definitely tested the waters. It was a bit passive, but I was definitely had an ear for like who was accepting and who wasn't. And then that sort of steered me into the direction of who I wanted to sort of, you know, come out to. It is really important to think about how um, people may react. There's always going to be one, two, ten, or, or even a hundred people that won't quite accept you for who you are. Whoever that person or those people are, you need to just put them aside as such and focus on you. You come first, your mental health comes first, your well-being and your happiness comes first. Don't put your energy into that negativity and what's coming from them because you don't give that back to them. I kind of presumed that my family would be really accepting, but I think it was just a big shock for them. It is a small ish part of you but at that time it felt so huge now they're really really supportive and like they absolutely love my wife my mom is from ireland and my dad is from iraq sometimes in his culture homosexuality isn't seen as the best let's say he had a very selfishly horrible outburst where it was all about him he went from someone who he won't mind me saying this he was suicidal because his son was gay to someone who was welcoming my partner into our family home. Once you drop that, that, that bomb as such of, this is what I am, I am, okay, bye. Then yeah. it's good to just sometimes step back and let, let it simmer. Because their idea of who you were has changed and they need time to rejig re in their head the new story. You know, he comes to Gay Pride with me now. His story to go on that journey just shows me that any person can change. You just have to give them time. Thank you guys so much for coming in and talking about your experiences. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. But until next week, uh, it's goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>